Hello, it's Counting Sheep here, and I'm just going to be me today, so no role plays and um, no triggers. I might do some affirmations uh, for real at the end of the video. Margines were silly, but I'll do some real ones today. But I wanted to first to read um, something from one of my subscribers, and she gave me permission to read it. And she is always so generous to me. Um, I don't generally have people donate, and she's someone who has donated to me. Um, and she also blesses my life in other ways. Um, she sent me the coolest email, and she'll share stories, and this one just touched me. Um, and she is uh, going through some major struggles of her own. And uh, she said I could use her name, so Susan, I won't give her last name, but Susan. And um, she wrote this email to me about an experience she had, and um, she has really uh, touched me the way she's living her life right now, even in the face of um, the challenges that she's going through, personal challenges that are huge. And um, so I'm going to read this little story. She says, I was at the shoe store the other day, walked past a lady wearing a hat. She turned around and asked me which pair of shoes I thought looked best. You could tell she was a chemo patient. I said, well, I kind of liked the ones you already had on. We laughed. I went up to check out, and she came up next to me. She said, I need to do something. I said, well, okay. What do you need to do? It was one of the most beautiful moments I have ever experienced in my entire life. She looked at me straight in the eyes and took off her hat. She had no hair except for a few strands on top. I took my hand and stroked her face and told her she was beautiful. We really had a moment. She, she said she felt like she could do that and, and she really needed to. Then she left. I felt so incredibly warm. Looked at the poor cashier and the tears were just streaming down her face. She was maybe 20-ish. She said, I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life. I told her, well, you will. You will if you continue to always keep your heart open. She says, those are the kinds of blessings that make my heart feel so incredibly full. I would never have experienced this wonderful moment had I not opened my heart to everything, love, joy, and the pain. I kept that out for so long. Pain really does run so deep. And uh, she talks about how um, a lot of emotions came crashing down one evening on her. And she said, even a few months ago, I would have made those feelings go away, or so I thought they would. And she said, they just manifest in other ways. I know this truth now. I made myself go through the emotions, and eventually it all passed through. And she talks about um, how much joy she experiences now in her life and with her loved ones that she what she didn't have access to before and for me this was really profound to be we've all heard about you know having the full experience and feeling the joy and the pain but I feel like deep down I don't want to feel the pain I don't it doesn't feel good um, it's difficult and so um, and certainly there are times when it's it's time to go out and do something to lift your spirits and to get your vibration up. But I think there is also something really powerful to be said about feeling the pain fully and taking that in. And that when you open your heart up, it's open to both the joy and the pain if you really open it up. And, um, and she just made that so beautiful. And I thought that experience of how open she was, that someone in a shoe store felt comfortable going up and sharing something with her that they really needed to that was that personal and intimate for them. So thank you, Susan, for letting me share that story because I think it's really um, an incredible one. So I will just do some affirmations now and then I'll let you have a wonderful restful night's sleep or a pleasant active day, whatever you need. Um, and I'm going to pull some of my cards out, my angel cards, because sometimes there are words on there that are helpful to me. So I'm um, thinking I'll use some of this in my affirmations. 
Um, maybe I'll set down the computer for a moment, so just one second. That way I can get a little closer to you. There we go. Okay. So I'll come a little closer and um, get a, a good eye contact view. And I'm just going to tell you some things about you that you might need to remember. You are loved by so many and sometimes it's easy to only see those around you who are not giving you love. Um, and that's around too. Or they're giving love in ways that don't feel good or um, that hurt even. Um, but you are worth loving. You are lovable. And you are loved. So I'm just going to remind you of that. Your life is abundant. It's full of joy. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see it, sometimes you forget it, but your life is so full of joy and wonderful experiences. You just have to think about it, and even today, as hard as today may have been, there's been something wonderful about today that's happened to you. If you just take a moment to think about it and focus on it. Um, you are strong. You're stronger than you sometimes realize. You're... Um, kind, you're compassionate, you are selfless, and you're selfish too, just at the right moments when you need to be, when you need to take care of you, and that's okay, it's good to take care of yourself. You are playful, and silly, and hilarious, and um, again, you know when out the stops and when you need to let yourself shine a little bit and make somebody smile or laugh or make yourself smile or laugh. You have a good sense of humor. You are, I want to say powerful, and I think I've told you that before. I've probably told you many of these things before, but powerful in so many ways because sometimes powerful is being quiet and silent and knowing when to be still and sometimes power is knowing when to stand up and be an activist and have a strong voice uh, but power comes in different forms and you know just when you need to be powerful and in just what way you need to be and that's very beautiful you are emerging always and evolving into a more amazing human being. And you are growing um, mentally, spiritually. Um, you are uh, socially capable. People love to be around you. And you love to be around them. You are soft. And... Um, it's okay to let that softness show when it needs to. Um, you're also strong, so it's okay to have both, to be soft and strong and to be vulnerable. And uh, you know just when you need to be just what you need to be. You are lightness and happiness. And, um, and you also know when to be serious and when to focus. You're very productive and you take excellent care of yourself. You are um, so capable and as time unfolds and as life goes along, you realize more and more how incredibly capable you are of wonderful things and all of your dreams are coming to you. They're coming true. Sometimes they come in a slightly different package than you imagined, but they are, they are uh, manifesting and they're showing up at the right moment, at just the perfect moment for you. And you recognize that these dreams are coming to you and uh, therefore you're able to manifest even more. So you're doing a great job of uh, letting your dreams come to you and imagining them and uh, you're not afraid to turn it over when it feels bigger than you and to just let it come to you uh, and to trust the universe.
universe that it's coming to you. So you're doing a great job of that. You're a very clear person. Your energy is clear. Your communication is clear. And you're not afraid to express your love and your gratitude. You're not afraid to express your boundaries. You are um, very whole and complete. And uh, every day you notice more and more what a wonderful human being you really are. And how lucky people are to be in your presence. Um, so for a moment, I didn't even need to look at my cards. So I'm going to set them to the side. And for a moment, I'm going to just look at you um, and be silent with you and appreciate you for a moment. And then I'll do a little stroking um, of your face and your hair. Uh, and then I'll say good night or good day to you. So if you want to talk to me, make sure my mic's not bumping me. I think it's doing okay. So if you want to share anything with me or um, if you just want to be silent with me and make some eye contact, that's fine too. But I'm here for you and with you right now and appreciating that you're here with me right now. All right? Thank you for sharing this present moment with me. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll just do a little bit of, let me scooch forward, um, gentle face. And there we go. Yeah. Let me set my little thing here. All right. Well, I hope this doesn't bump my mic. There we go. Yeah, just want to see your beautiful face and feel your energy for a minute and hopefully you can feel mine too. Great. your life really well, weathering the storms, seeing the positive, finding the light side of things, but also letting yourself stay open to experiencing the fullness of the pain and the beauty that can sometimes be hidden inside of that. Great. Okay. Thank you for spending time with me. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful day. And have a wonderful life. Thanks for stopping by.